what if a single building could rise higher than 10 Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other? That's what Saudi Arabia is doing with the Jeddah Tower, a skyscraper shooting over 1,000 meters into the sky. With a staggering $26 billion budget, this tower isn't just tall, it's a bold leap into the future of tech and architecture. The Jeddah Tower will rise over 1,000 meters, 3,280 feet, beating the Burj Khalifa by 173 meters. This makes it the tallest building ever, offering views unlike anything else on Earth. Building this high brings huge engineering challenges, from stability to basic utilities. Living or working here will feel like floating above the clouds. What's going on with construction? Construction started in 2013, but stopped in 2018 due to financial issues. It resumed in January 2025, and now crews build a new floor every four days. They've already reached the 64th floor and aim to finish by 2028. The tower will include hotels, offices, shops, and observation decks once done. Who's behind it? Saudi billionaire Prince Al-Walid bin Talal leads the project through Kingdom Holding Company with Saudi Bin Laden Group handling construction. The design comes from Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill, the team behind the Burj Khalifa. Turner Construction from the US oversees the build, making this a global effort with experts from many fields. Building over one kilometer high means facing strong winds, temperature changes, and shifting ground. The tower's three-petal, tapered shape acts like a giant wind splitter to reduce wind pressure. A five-meter-thick concrete base with 270 deep piles anchors it firmly into the earth. Reinforced concrete and steel help handle both weight and wind forces. The outside is covered with special glass that reflects heat and boosts energy efficiency. This design keeps the tower safe, stable, and strong. Inside the tower, 59 high-tech elevators, including double-deck ones, travel at speeds up to 10 meters per second, taking you to the top fast. You select your floor before entering, and a smart system directs you to the right elevator, cutting wait times. Sensors monitor lighting, air quality, and temperature, adjusting them to save energy. Lights turn off when rooms are empty, and air conditioning changes based on occupancy. Solar panels add extra power, while rainwater collection helps water plants. The result is a super smart, eco-friendly building. What's inside the tower? Once completed, this tower becomes a vertical city. Inside, there'll be a luxury Four Seasons Hotel for travelers who want to stay thousands of feet above sea level. Then there are high-end apartments where people can actually live in the sky. Offices stacked above, where workers get the world's most stunning views through glass walls. Scattered throughout will be shops, restaurants, and cafes, mixing work, life, and play in one giant tower. The highest feature? A massive observation deck on the 157th floor, offering a 360-degree view of the Red Sea, Jeddah City, and Desert Wilderness. Standing up there, it's not just sightseeing, it's a statement. It's living, working, eating, and shopping, all in one building that touches the sky. Who will be there? This skyscraper isn't just an empty shell. It's meant to host between 75,000 and 100,000 people every day. That includes hotel guests, residents, office workers, shoppers, tourists. They'll all flow in and out as if it's its own small city. Morning rush hour will look like tiny people climbing elevators instead of roads. At lunch, cafes will be buzzing hundreds of floors up. Night will bring sweeping views of lights and stars. Building designers had to plan for food delivery, waste management, cleaning crews, event spaces, and emergency systems. The tower is more than just steel. It's a sustainable ecosystem that breathes and moves with its people every single day. This project is the core piece of Jeddah Economic City, a massive waterfront development worth around $20 billion. It's central to Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan to diversify the economy away from oil and into tourism, real estate, entertainment, and tech. Experts expect this tower to draw in tourists, investors, and international businesses, all fueling jobs and growth for the region. It's a beacon, signaling Saudi's willingness to embrace global markets and modern infrastructure. Beyond economics, it's a cultural statement. 
showcasing that the kingdom can build not just tall but smart, sustainable and world-class structures. Pumping concrete over a kilometer high might sound impossible, but advanced concrete pumps are already working up to about 800 meters now, and teams are pushing them higher. The biggest challenge? Making sure the concrete pours evenly without hardening too fast or getting cold spots. Then there are the elevators. Double-deck models and computerized controls manage the flow of people across crazy heights. Building automation and control systems keep every light bulb, air vent, and motor running at peak performance to save up to half the energy. And Orange Business Services has set up full IT support, offering fast internet, cloud systems, and data centers inside the tower. It's truly a fusion of construction, connectivity, and efficiency. Every skyscraper has issues, and this one has a few extra because of its size. Wind sway could turn a tall building into a swinging hazard, but that three-petal shape and massive base fight it. Moving tens of thousands of people up and down requires super smart elevator systems and sky lobbies to manage flow, and these are already in place. Hot weather, sand, and temperature swings are handled with insulation, solar panels, and clever window systems. Even waste and water systems are designed to recycle and conserve. Nothing here is just slapped together, it's all engineered and tested to work smoothly, day in and day out, high above the world below. What about others trying? Jetta Tower broke records before it's even done, but Saudi Arabia isn't stopping there. Another giant is in the pipeline, Rise Tower in Riyadh, aiming to reach two kilometers high. That project would have nearly 700 floors and reportedly cost around $5 billion. If that one happens, it'd be twice as tall as this one. It's like a skyscraper race, tower after tower, pushing the limits of what we can build. And with these kinds of stakes, each new structure has to be smarter, greener, and more efficient than the last, even if it almost seems impossible. But in this race, they're proving humans will never stop dreaming or building higher. What would you do on the top floors of the world's tallest building? Dine at the highest restaurant? Live in a glass-walled apartment? Or just take in the Red Sea views from above the clouds? It's a fun thought. Drop your ideas below. No dream is too high up here. The Jetta Tower is set to stand over one kilometer tall with a cost of $26 billion. It's packed with smart tech, ecosystems, and luxury spaces. Completion is expected by 2028. It's more than a building. It's a vertical city and a symbol of Saudi Arabia's future. This isn't just a tower. It's a symbol of ambition, innovation, and smart design. With tech, eco features, and room for 100,000 people, it's reshaping what skyscrapers can be. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.